Hey guys, Mike B here with a product video of something that I sell and that I think is pretty cool. I actually kept one for myself. Um, these are the Czech M1995 Tactical Field Vests, I call them. Um, pretty much they're a uh, load-bearing vest made for the VZ-58 or VZ-2008 series weapons. Um, I don't know how late they use these. Probably fairly recently because they're a cool design. So if you're wanting to get one of these, they're on the website at mikesmilitary.com, 46 bucks, and I'm just going to show you what you're going to get. Um, so you've got two pouches right here, right? These are for the VZ-58 rifle, but the mags are so similar to the AK-47 mags that they're compatible. So you can fit two in each pouch, as you can see, very comfortably. Um, you've got a what looks like a knife or a bayonet pouch. They all have these on them. It's pretty interesting, so you can open this up and then bam. Um, I don't know if it's for the VZ-58 bayonet or what. Sorry about the face thing. I'm trying to get the vest in here more than my ugly mug, so bear with me. Um, this is just kind of an all utility pouch, radio pouch, you name it. Uh, it's got a zipper closure on it, which is pretty sweet. Um, then you got like a pouch for a flashlight or a, a multi-tool or something like that. And of course it's held together by a zipper and then some Velcro. We all love Velcro. Um, yeah, and then on the sides, right, you've got a pouch right here. I could fit G3 magazines in there, FAL magazines in there. It fits one or two if you squeeze them in. You got those on both sides, and you've got grenade pouches, and then whatever else. This is just an extra strap in here. I'm not sure exactly what that's for. But, uh, and then on the back, it's blank like that, and it's adjustable. So it fits size small through extra fat, which is my size. Um, it's very adjustable and very easy to adjust, and it holds its size. Um, if you're wondering what the park is, too, I've got a few of these left in stock, and I'm wearing one of them right now. So you can be one of the lucky people that gets to, gets to wear this exact... Um, Parka, it's a 1995 camouflage parka. So anyway, the vest is pretty cool. Most of them have these pouches. They're gonna be used, so uh, expect some wear and tear and stuff. It's not too bad though, I'm not gonna send you a piece of crap. Um, some of them have these pouches right here that look like actual single mag pouches. Um, I'll show you really quick. I'll stick an AK mag in there. Yep, so they're looking like single mag pouches. I think these are the older version. Uh, you could probably squeeze two in there if you really tried, but one like that. These are the curved ones. They look cool. So um, I don't select which one because uh, they're both equally as useful. The pouches on the rest of them are exactly the same. But just be aware you might get one with two, um, two curved pouches in the front instead of these straight pouches that hold two. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to let you guys know about this, this awesome thing. They're made out of heavy duty nylon. They're pretty soft actually, which is weird, but they're very strong, which I look for in a vest and so does everyone else. They look cool. And it's not often that you can actually find a tactical vest that's made for an AK platform rifle. I know the VZ-58 2008 are not AK platforms. I'm saying the magazine, they look similar. The magazines are very similar in size and shape. Um, so it's actually made for an AK rifle. 74 or 47, um, the mags work the same. They're actually tall enough for that. If you want to use it for like AR-15 mags and stuff, they're going to be a little bit tall, but you can still get to them. And then these will fit um, 20 round AK or uh, AR mags, no problem. I haven't tried the 30s in there yet, but we'll see. So yeah, and then you've got some Molly stuff right here. You can attach things if you need to. There's some, um, oh no, there, yeah, right there. There's some Molly stuff on the back. So there's also room to expand and kind of customize. So, sorry, I keep looking at the door, hoping nobody's gonna walk in. Well, you know, it's a slow day at the store, so I decided to make the video. Um, I've been meaning to make this one for a while because I've had these for a bit. But yeah, if you haven't, if you haven't checked these out already, definitely you should probably grab one because i don't know if i'm gonna be able to get any more um so some of the wear and tear that you're going to get is going to be like this on the corners of the pouch they're still totally usable and they got a lot of life left in them but they were i mean obviously used none of these are brand new um so expect that there's some kind of wear right there you can see but nothing nothing too drastic so if you got any questions feel free to comment um if you know more about the actual nomenclature of this vest that would be cool like the name of it um, I just call it the 1995 vest because it looks like something that would come out in the 90s and be used up until the mid-2000s. But yeah, I love this. I'm planning on using this for um, coyote hunting to have AK magazines and then other various tools and equipment and stuff, phones. Uh, it fits the phone in there very well. If I wasn't using my phone to record this, I'd show you. But um, yeah, so pretty much if you want a decent tactical vest tailored for an AK, uh, AK platform rifle or VZ-58 platform rifle, this is what you gotta get, and it's also in the sweet M1995 pattern. See how it matches the parka, huh? Isn't that cool? Yeah, anyway, great product. I love it, I stand by it. Um, I've had nothing but positive feedback so far on people that have purchased these. 
So yeah, get yours before they're all sold out and hopefully you enjoy it as much as I do. Thanks for watching everybody. And if you haven't already, hit the thumbs up button on the video and subscribe to my channel for more cool videos. Um, this is also a practical surplus item, but I'll probably be making a separate video on that. We'll see. Maybe this will be the practical surplus video. But um, yeah, actually, we're going to do that. We're going to do practical surplus episode, whatever it is we're on. All right. If you made it this far in the video, congrats listening to me rant. But yeah, practical surplus, cool stuff, great for hunting and whatever else. You don't have to put AK mags in here. You can put other mags. So yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. And we will see you on the next video.